she asked India and India said well you know what I had a great time in Casa Omar and even though I had a connection with Dami hey I have to start think I had to start thinking with my head and not follow with my heart you know keep my options open and then Dami was like <laughs> he, he was just out here he couldn't even hide his thing and let me also tell you something summer to can she not mind her damn business like girl you got picked already why the hell are you saying oh my god oh shit she picked another dude uh -huh. <laughs> smirking like this castle more set of girls they're just mean girls seriously because india has not done anything to you and i guess you were talking a lot of shit behind india's back and of course stupid demi could never defend her he, she's so comfortable with the way she's just out here disrespecting like girl we don't know you we don't care about you girl go home get the hell out of there man Demi had the audacity to be out here throwing jabs at her and um and he said yeah you know well she said oh it is what it is he said till it is i said shut the hell up and she said that well you know i see his true colors now and he said we're both heartbreakers then she said well may the best heartbreaker win i said boom now my thing with dami is dami re really fumbled the back he fumbled and i know some of you will say that well what's the problem because india brought somebody well the thing is even though india brought somebody i know at the end of the day she was always going to pick dami and to be honest she was respectful and she never kissed deji she never kissed him. She kept it open on both ends. She was not deceiving anybody. Yeah? So, but the thing with Dami is, my God, Dami was acting like a horny pig when he was in Casa Amor. He was acting like he was in Vegas. And then this fool had the audacity to still choose Summer. Like, no regards at all. Was he expecting India to come alone just so that he could humiliate her? Like, what the hell is this guy's problem? You can tell that when he was younger, this guy never had... Um, he must have had a nerd experience because he never had play like that. And now that he's older, he feels that he has to overcompensate with all these piercings, these tattoos, with this huge personality. Because deep down, he's actually insecure. That's what I noticed about Demi. He's trying to make up for all those times. And now he feels like, damn, now let these pretty girls fight over me were you even voted his ego really got to him you were voted twice as the most compatible most favorite people in the house couldn't you read the clue that the audience the public loved you guys and you had to fumble your bag he thought that oh i can just do what i want the public is at the end of the day they're going to vote for me he is so terrible seriously that, that may really disappointed me he fumbled the bag did i think they would win as the first black couple Mm, this is still the UK but I knew that they were at least going to be second place now I don't know what is going to happen but I'll continue to vote for India she's my priority and I hope that she and Deji at least they make it far even though I doubt they will but I hope they make it far but this dude then eh, that means such a waste man seriously my god I hate this guy how did I go from loving him to hating him he talks too damn much he's out here being in everybody's business out here being judgmental attacking Ekinsu attacking Tash they did acting like he's so perfect and holy but this dude is a snake in the grass he's he was out here judging some of these girls and still look at how he behaved and he's so entitled dude I hope that the public vote will humble this guy because he's feeling himself too much. Anyway, moving along. Um, which other couple was there? Jama and Luca. Huh, we expected it already. I don't have any comment for them. They, uh, Luca is so dedicated to meeting Michael Owens. I'm not even going to lie. It's so desperate. Now, Andrew and Tasha. My God. My, my God. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Andrew made a... Um, Andrew... Andrew is not for this show. Seriously, he's about to have a mental breakdown. He just needs to be evicted from this show. I'm not even going to lie. Because how do you couple up with Coco? I'm sorry to say, who is a bit of a downgrade of Tasha? 
but it's no problem you couple up with coco and you don't even feel anything for this girl you just feel like oh, i have to just couple up with her based on the the nasty things that tasha has said about and when he was out here saying that you know the casa girls were actually telling me what tasha was doing behind my back the mean things that she was saying i knew that she never loved me blah 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 all that stuff and i'm like damn these casa girls they're messy as hell they are so messy and yes tasha tasha was not really my favorite person i mean the way she went about things i was like okay i was side eyeing her but i don't think she has ever said anything bad about andrew that i know of from what we've seen on tv that's all she just said she wanted to always she felt she always wanted to explore her options but she felt a bit held back and i felt that she stayed with andrew because he's emotionally blackmailing her that's the only way it's sympathy she wants to live her life but then andrew is here holding her back I think these two will still end up being together. She walked in with Billy. Billy. And she was... And he was so hurt. He said, mm -mm. Oh my God. I cannot believe it. You're so fake, Tasha. And he said to Billy that... she, uh, Good luck with her. She lies more than Pinocchio. <laughs> she lies more than Pinocchio. Good luck with that. You could see that Tasha was so hurt. But she held her own. So that was it. I'm like, Andrew, please... Andrew is so whipped over this girl. My God, it is giving me Jada and Will. I'm not even going to lie. It's giving me Jada and Will. And now, last but not least, my God, Jax. Jax finessed the whole game. I'm not even going to lie. Jax, eh? Jax, this guy is an asshole. I'm not even going to lie. He finessed the game. But the problem is, guys, as much as we hate these type of guys, the Jax and the dummies, and all that they actually make this show i'm not even gonna lie because we need villains i hate them but they make this show fun Jax, i thought he i was thousand percent sure he was going to be coupled with cheyenne this dude he said that i'm going to stick with Paige. i was shocked i was shocked i said damn this guy is fake so he did all of this for nothing all these talks Talking to Cheyenne and Molly at the same time, especially Cheyenne, he assured her that, you know what, I want to get to know you and we're going to have fun, we'll do this. The way he was so close with Cheyenne, I did not expect that. So when he did that, Cheyenne was so devastated, that girl wanted to cry. She realized that she got used. So Paige walked in and Paige was so happy, She's like, I'm going to meet my Jax and obviously I'm going to meet him. And when uh she met up with jack she was happy she reunited with him and laura uh then asked like okay um is everybody okay then cheyenne tried to expose jacks and say that well i kind of felt used by him because this was a guy that we both showed interest into each other and we kissed in bed and blah 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 we did all these things so i'm shocked he did that but that's the kind of guy you're with and Paige was just looking like she was mean and she was just so angry but she was like at the end of the day you know he came back to me and all that and she said that yeah well he did tell me about the test and all that bullshit and I'm like all these guys were just using the test thing as an excuse seriously they were not being faithful to these girls they were using it as an excuse they just wanted to have their cake and eat it and that's what Jax did. He wants to have his cake and eat it. He pulled a Liam. And I didn't see it coming. Actually, he even played Andrew and Dami. You see? Andrew Andrew and Dami must have thought that, oh, he's going to recouple. No. Now, Andrew and Dami, they look like fools. I'm not even going to lie. And the thing is, Paige is still going to take him back. After all the disrespect, after all the things. I don't feel sorry for him her because she should have seen the signs from the beginning but she doesn't care you know she's so in love with jack she even had sex with the dude some of you don't believe it but that's what they did in the hideaway she had sex she feels emotionally attached to the guy and now she's like oh my god this and i'm like gosh this this thing is just a mess but yeah that's the thing jax is a game player uh, this guy uh, he i can't i cannot even hate jax i'm not even gonna lie this dude is a terrible villain he is so 
I, I have no words. This season, my God, the guys, they're on another level. Seriously. I don't see anybody being genuine. None of the guys are genuine, in my opinion. At least Jay, he's just minding his business. He's doing his own damn thing. Demi really disappointed me. I really liked the guy. Seriously. It pained me. It pained me well, well. Seriously. He had one job. One job. My God. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.